Hey there, welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man. Uh, I just finished a jelly task. It's I went and did the uh, warped jellies inside of the core end catacombs. And obviously on the right, I didn't notice this till later, you can't see rune light. I had a little plug in on the right that keeps track of what I killed and how many I killed on the loot. But we got a decent amount of elk bulls that I kind of elked on the, you know, while we're sitting there killing them. But we ended up getting a couple of rune full helms, another rune kite shield, a bunch of runes. And one thing I did not know is you can get an adamant axe, which is our best in slot woodcutting axe now. So we're just going to high elk these real quick, make some money, and let's see how much we end up with after one task. Keep this in mind, this is the very first task that I've done of these warp jellies and I made roughly 120k. Not 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 bad dude. It's honestly it's pretty good money. We're starting to get to the point where Slayer is making us money and we're not just wasting our time killing ice giants and ice warriors. So yeah. Ended up buying about 500 buckets of sand, 500 soda ash. I wanted to get some glass blowing going on. It's really fast XP once you get all of it made, but this is the beginning of it. And I'll catch you in a second. So I just finished all 500 of the Molten Glass. We only ended up getting one crafting level, but that's not the majority of the XP that we're gonna get. Most of the XP that we will get is from turning the Liquid Glass into fish bowls, unpowered orbs, and then I think we unlock lights, maybe? We might be able to unlock the, uh, the Dorgish Khan lights or whatever they're called. But yeah, we're gonna make some fish bowls and I'll be back in a little bit. We have a goal in mind too. We're not just sitting here getting random crafting levels. This is my last inventory and it should get us a level up. As you can see, I've gotten three levels so far. So the majority of the XP itself is from crafting this. And there we go, 49 crafting. We are one short of our goal, but I will still find a way to get that. One thing I remember seeing people do is sell their chaos runes in the Tazar area. So I'm gonna sell my excess chaos runes that we got from our last task. I don't know if the death runes and the blood runes are worth selling here, but I just wanted to get a little bit more. It's it's 100% not worth it. So I sold the death runes, obviously, but there's this little gem shop right here. I don't have access to the good one yet because I don't have a fire cape and I can't get into the uh, deeper part. But for now, we can sit here, we can trade this guy, we can get uncut sapphires and uncut emeralds. It's a decent respawn timer, but I can world hop to get around that and then I'll get a whole bunch of them. As you can tell, we got about 50 of each. It's not horrible, it's not great. Turning a couple hundred chaos runes into some crafting XP though, for me, is worth it. We should be close enough to hit the crafting level we need, but I'm gonna craft some of these gems and we'll be back. Also, this animation for cutting gems, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like that might need to be updated because what is my character doing? It's like I'm just spinning a gem. It doesn't even look like I'm cutting it. So we're here at Edgeville, we're going to be making our first strength amulet. It's something that I've wanted for a while, it will help us a lot in melee training. So I just made the amulet, we're going to string it, and then let's enchant this bad boy. Something that's so cheap, but at the same time, on an Iron Man, it's... It hits different, you know? It definitely hits different. You don't think about it, but, you know, we'll have to have 70 crafting to make, you know, a power Emmy, or even 80 to make a glory, let alone making a fury or <laughs> anything else. So I'm back here on Monkey Island. 
I didn't I don't remember the name of this but uh, we're back here we made some money we have a power amulet and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to trade Daga here Daga Daga but we are going to be buying our first dragon weapon the whole reason behind doing monkey madness was to be able to use the dragon scimitar so our very first weapon in terms of dragon we now have I'm gonna try and find a safe spot to get out of here I really don't like this island like at all I've had zero luck on it so I want to see I'm gonna see if I can go back here I, oh, I forgot the uh, big monkeys kind of block your pass, so I can't swing past it. And then that spider, as you can see, I've highlighted it in the uh, back. <laughs> they poison you, so I don't have any anti-poison on me. Uh, I don't really... I don't know. I don't trust this area either. We're going to go over here to where we talk to the kid. Because I know it's a safe area, and I don't see any spiders or anything over here. And we are going to just quickly teleport out of here. All right, we're here. We got level 60 attack, killing a spider. But we can now wield dragon. We also have 1100 total level, which is, you know, amazing. But there we go, dragon scimitar. The upgrade difference between rune and dragon. I, <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to like feel the significant upgrade, you know? Our very first special attack. But I feel like the next goal for us would probably be, in terms of training combat, we need to, uh, oh, high will it. But like training wise, I think I need to get like 65 attack, 65 strength, or even 60 attack, leave it here and go to 70 strength, just so I can get into the warrior's guild, I want to call it. I think that's what it is, but I want to get the uh, fighter torso and I need to get rid of the kite shield and I need to get the uh, dragon defender. So uh, if we go for like 65, 70 strength, and then we go for 60 defense, you know, that'll get us a decent combat level. That'll get us, you know, enough time that we can go there. I want to say if I get 70 strength and go there, we'll be fine. Ended up getting bored, mining for a little bit, made about 126 steel plate bodies, got us some smithing levels, got us some mining levels. But I'm going to elk these, and oh, when I took it out as noted, dumb. I want to elk these and see what we got. Finishing up high elking all of these, we got about 151k. Not bad. Some nice fast money, you know. I was AFK on my phone mining Motherload Mine. I hated it, but I'm starting to like Motherload Mine now. Nice and relaxing. We also unlock smithing of the mithril stuff, finally. Um, this might have been an easier way to get the mithril axe for animal magnetism, but how much is this elk for? 195. I'm pretty sure the mithril axe is high elk for a little bit more. Mithril bar is 180, and myth yeah, mithril axe is just over nature rune cost, so I can high elk these a little bit, and we can get a little magic experience. Level 60 magic, just, you know, high elking away. It's a decent upgrade. Um, we're still trying to get that 66 magic for the wizard guild. We got 556k from just pretty much today alone. We went from like about 100k to this. And I will say this video is a little bit all over the place again. Obviously, I get very bored and like to do different things and kind of keep it, or at least myself, interested in doing stuff. But I'm going to be skipping out on the outro, and I'm just going to be saying peace out. Hope you guys are doing good, and thanks for watching.